Hello and welcome to another quick update. I'll say another quick get update. OBS did one, messed everything up again. So those that use Stream Deck, you are now seeing the uh, waiting for OBS, the ring of death after you've done an OBS update, which was uh, only done yesterday for me. Uh, if you're using the normal OBS or the uh, portable mode, this one is aimed at you. To re-establish Stream Deck back to your OBS, you need to go to the Elgato.com website, select Downloads, which is in the top right-hand corner, and select the download for your Stream Deck, for whichever version you've got. You'll download an MSI file, install that MSI file, and if you use the current installation of OBS where it's straight on your C drive, you should be good to go. For the rest of us that use portable mode, we're still going to see the wheel of death and we're still not going to see Elgato in our tools list. The rest of this video is aimed at you guys. So what we need to do, we need to close down OBS and we need to go to our C drive. In C drive, we need to open our program data folder. Now, as you can see, we can't see it here. So what we need to do is go to view, show, hidden items, and then we'll be able to see the program data folder. So we jump in there, we find OBS. So we've got OBS Studio there. Open that one, plugins. And here we'll see the Stream Deck plugin. Open that one. Now, it's not as simple as just putting these two folders into your OBS. No, they make us work for it. Us portable OBS users, we need to work for it. So what we need to do, we need to go into the bin folder, 64. And you've got two files, Stream Deck plugin DLL and Stream Deck plugin PDB. We need to copy both of them folders. We're not going to close this tab because we're going to come back to it. What we're going to do is we're going to open a new one and we need to locate our OBS. So I'm going to jump in here. This is my OBS. And in here, we need to go to our OBS plugins, not the bin where we've just picked it from. We're going into the OBS plugins folder, 64. And we're going to paste them two files in here, Stream Deck Plugin DLL and Stream Deck Plugin PDB. Again, these go in your plug OBS plugins folder, not the bin folder where we plucked them from. So now we jump back to, to the Stream Deck plugin, and now we're going to the data folder. In here, we've got four files, one folder. We need, only need to concern ourselves with three of these items. That's locale, so that's your folder, and Stream Deck plugin QT6 PDB, and Stream Deck plugin QT6 DLL. If we copy them, go back to our OBS, and this time we're going to go into our data folder, OBS plugins, and in here we need to create a new folder. So we've got new folder, and this has to be called Stream Deck Plugin, capital S, capital D, capital P. So it's Stream Deck Plugin. And I do type slow. Yes, I do. So now we've got a folder called Stream Deck Plugin. We open the folder and we paste in them two files and that folder. And now we are good to go. So now if I come back to the beginning, back an extra one, portable users, we always have to go that one step further. Open that portable mode. Now if we go to Tools, we'll see Elgato Stream Decks in there. And if we go to the Stream Deck, the wheel of death will stop. Will stop. There we go. It stopped. And now we're all connected again. So that is how you connect your Stream Deck back to your portable version of OBS Studio. Well, that was another quick tip from Fady Chronicles. If you're liking these uh, short tips, these short quick tips, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one. See you later, guys.